Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Day Job. I have a guest joining us this morning, uh, two-time world champion and all-around good Philly boy, Dan D'Argenio. Welcome. Hello. So what are we going to be doing today? All right, we're going to be playing this this Spags deck. It's a, it's a criminal deck. It feels, it feels, honestly, to me... And I know, I know there was like a tier one Andy deck around the around the Moons era, but I wasn't playing very much at the time. So this is the first time I feel like I've played a tier one criminal deck since, since Andy. Since RP. yeah, since since yeah, since like World Twenty Fifteen. Yes, Russell, double the Dan value. Two Dans. Two Dans for the price of well, it's free anyway. So. Yeah, for the price of zero Dans. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much as crazy, yeah. Um, but yeah, so oh my, the deck, oh my the god, you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna put this in casual. I wouldn't do that. There's That's there's mean. there's nobody here. There's eleven games. <laughs> yeah, I know, but all here, right. Here, 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 here. You're gonna. There we go. Yeah, just be nice about it at least. <laughs> but uh. Or like in capital letters, not actually casual. You will have a bad time if you play casual decks against us. <laughs> Ca casual. Um, I think when, I, going back to the conversation about criminals becoming more tier one. Uh huh. I think one of the big things is is they got some really interesting utility cards in the last cycle and in the last pack. Like, well, they got they got. I mean, I wouldn't call Amakua. Or diversion of funds a utility card, but those are the best ones that they got. <laughs> what utility cards are we talking about? Well, I mean, Amaku is really, really, really good. Yeah, it's not a utility card. This is just a busted icebreaker. But Bankroll is a utility card, I'd it say. It is not. Bankroll is just an insane economy card. Right, but... And so I mean, is Diversion of Funds. And yeah. Bezel is kind of a utility card, I guess. And I was going to say Falsified. That's also just... A, that's, these are not utility... These are just... These are just right, like well, unsure, ga uh, unsure Gamble also gives you a ton of information. I mean, that's that's kind of true, but I, you really usually just want to play it as Sure Gamble if you can. It's be it's slightly worse than sure gamble. Though. Yeah, it's it's un it's unsure gamble. Right, it's not as good as sure gamble. But yeah, I think the thing that I think is also really interesting is the impact that crowdfunding has on a deck like this. Crowdfunding is really good because you do your apocalypse and you made three runs, yeah. so you get all your crowdfundings back. Yeah, it's really stupid. It's really good in this deck. It's like this card was made for this deck, honestly. One second, I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn my camera off. I'm gonna do one of my favorite things, which is um, poop on stream. I'm sorry, but I just woke up. It's okay. And I need to do that. All it's right, okay. where's how do I do this? We're waiting for a game now because now people are threatened. Turn um, off. There should be. Yep, there you go. People are scared of the raw power. Hopefully, if I drop out, that would be bad. But I don't think I will. We'll be all right. We can make it work. Yeah. Um, this deck, I think, was maybe tier one anyway. I mean, Spags did make the cut. Right. He was he was tenth at Worlds. Then Tech, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, it's really hard to. Um, really, it's really hard to say that this deck is in legitimate at top 16 worlds and then you just add crowd money which is so i mean like the card it's is so, it's so good first of all really good anyway and this is exactly the type of deck you want to play it in because you can just do things like play like if you have like an amaku and a bankroll in play or like double bankroll like two crowdfunding it's like so easy to justify three otherwise completely worthless runs yeah well, and then really on top of that Oh, go ahead, and, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's just like, it's so good apocalypse. You play it, and then... I think the, the mm -hmm. one of the craziest things that I think about, like, it, let's say you have, like, early game, like, one empty crowdfunding sitting in the trash. Oh, we got somebody. And then yeah. you just, like, run archives three times, power up Amakua, and get crowdfunding back. Or maybe a bank rolls down, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like... 
Like the amount of value that the combination of bankroll, crowdfunding, and Amakua allows you to piggyback onto like yeah. an archives run is wild as shit. You ever, have you drawn three bankrolls in yet? Because that's fun. Yeah, that that's pretty good. Um, bankrolls against like against like CDM or something. It's like, well, I'll just do nothing forever. It's just like run archives four times for like the next six turns. Yeah really good you just like you just have your um uh, it's like playing our war but um but actually a good card yeah that's well, easy I, to use that's we, e that, I, a card that's easy to use all right we got somebody let's do this not bad when you get rid of i don't like this hand at all all right so we're gonna throw that back into the best so just, i would say that i would say this is definitely a throw back he's playing what architects yeah this i think this is all good yeah. this needs money this is better Embezzle Very can be time. really solid against somebody we know who is probably playing more than 16 pieces of ice. Um, yeah, it's not bad. And Employee Strike, of course, kills just a huge chunk of their economy. Oh, he put Ginger Grid on R&D, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, alright, so... Is get the fuck, get rid of that. I really don't wanna deal with that card. So what are we gonna do? Um, so what do we? Which I always so the new criminal cards. I don't know which ones there. That is falsified credentials, right? I can't tell the difference between the picture yeah, on yeah, falsified, falsified credentials. credentials is the one with four nineteen on it, and embezzles the one with all the red. I know which one embezzle is. I can't the one. I can't tell the difference between the falsified credentials and diversion of funds. Yeah, falsified credentials is the one with four nineteen on it. Listen, I don't. I don't know what four nineteen even looks like. So don't, don't, don't even, don't even get me with that. That garbage. Probably, I, would, yeah, I would probably waste your gamble on the ID here. Yeah. Uh, you might want to draw a card because you might draw like a dirty one. Maybe. That'll be useful um, later. Yeah, but you know, if you draw it, you want to play it here. I would definitely, um, I don't know what I think. So. To run R&D. I would just run R&D, yeah. Because if that's a ginger, we have to get rid of it before like a ton of ice gets piled up there. So there's a surveyor. There's the ginger. Yeah. So we're going to clear that, right? Yeah, I would definitely get rid of that here. And then what? Click for a buck? I think so. So we've drawn into two inside job effects, which means that we can. He's being smart. He knows what he knows what's he, going on. He knows what the deal is. Yes. All right, senior. And draw a card. Definitely draw a card first thing. Oof. Well, that's not good. Let's keep drawing. Now that um, one's diversion of funds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would probably, hmm, I would probably gain a credit and play employee strike and discard one of the inside job effects or the actually discard the embezzle because we're never getting an HD embezzle like this. All right. So what do you want me to do? I play an employee strike. If she's gonna just keep stacking ice on. Then gain a buck and then discard embezzle. Yeah. I think so. I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah, I feel like nowadays, um, nowadays people know uh, if you're playing 419, people are very wise to it on JNet. I mean, if for no other reason than I've been terrorizing people for like two weeks with this deck. All right, so there's the NGO, which they're gonna pre-use because they know we're on that falsified John. Um, so, we have some options here. I think the best thing to do is probably with R&D and click for three credits most of the time. Um, you might want to draw a card because we don't need the second inside job, but we, we could also maybe make use of it. Um, sure, we're going to take that value run on R&D this turn. Um, the question is, no, you probably don't. I mean, you want to draw a card first if you draw a card, so we have to think if we want to draw a card. Okay, well, we decided that we want to draw a card, so yeah, I'd probably run R&D now. All right, let's get in there. Ichi. Well, luckily Ichi, that ice I'd is probably, black. I'm pretty yeah. good right now. I would gain two credits, and I'd pick your favorite card to discard. Probably the inside driver the Dean Lister. Probably Dean Lister, actually. But I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, let's get rid of the inside job. Yeah. Just because. Yeah, 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 I know. We could draw a turtle. Dean Lister could be good for the HQ run. That's probably going to be an Ichi, right? Okay, so there's a scarcity down now. 
Yeah. Um, draw a card. You're getting a bunch of credits. What is that, a fam? Correct. I would just gain credits and discard, discard a fam or something. We can, like, it's not bad the way it's going to make, it's like, it's going to make his density go up. Um, he's playing. Right, he's not, very... he's not scoring or trying to build a remote. No, he's being, he's playing this very smart and safe. I would say that he's doing the right thing. Our hand is particularly going to be really good. We got a turtle out. Yeah, I mean, if we can get a turtle out and just, like, slam archives three times, we're going to be in a much better position. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily. Want to slam archives? I probably just want to play Dean Luster and Turtle and just threaten HQ and then uh, Inside Jaguar and the Arp Apocalypse. Like, we just want to be able to threaten this Apocalypse really bad. Um, it looks like we've gotten lucky and he's drawing into things that he doesn't want at this point. So. Sure. All right, so what are we doing here? Because uh, you probably want to find this. Um, you really you really want to find this um, scarcity of the Turtle. Or the apocalypse, like all those things are pretty important to draw. It's pretty good. Um, I probably, I probably gain two and play the game lister. To be perfectly honest, I know it's expensive, but I would still do it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just because I mean, like, we show me really the ways don't. of your people, Dan. I'm not blind. Run into. We don't think that's a Christium, do we? What? Absolutely not. I don't think anybody's playing about credit, but I'm not sure. Assumption that it's not Christium, right? But if he doesn't res it, maybe it is. Um. All right. All right. Um. When, when able, turn your camera back on. Okay, well, dude. I got Balder with me now. That's not what I wanted. Let's find this. Dude. There we go. We're back. Balder, stop licking my tattoo. Thank you. Okay. Um. Well, if it's Crazy and Grip, we're probably fucked. Let's. I'll. I'll, I'll say that. Um. But I'm probably. I'm probably. We can. Gain, we can gain four credit here. All right, so it probably actually is crazy. Right? Yeah, if that's Chrissy, and that's a real problem. All right, what are we doing? Um, we could inside job or spearfishing HQ. I would probably want to inside job it rather than spearfishing it, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's something we could do. Do you want to? What click do we want to do that? Do we want to draw first? Um, we definitely want to do that on click one. You have a box in your hand, dude. All right, so let's inside job HQ, see if we can get the double res, right? Uh, yeah. Because they have, there has to be at least one agenda in their hand, right? So we're going to bypass okay. the surveyor. Yeah. Ravana doesn't do anything. All right, that's perfect. I mean, they're going to get a res, but... That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> what is that, Loki? The unresed is Chrissium. But they didn't, leave it. Leave it. No action. No action. They didn't res it. They didn't action. All right. So just be a vision R&D run archives and then let's black gloves. Hopefully this is an archetype, but it probably is. This is so good. Yeah, this is quite good. Trash that. And it's just like, oh, no, because he didn't res the. Uh... Seems seems right. Yeah, seems good. All right, this is Netrunner. <laughs> welcome, yeah, welcome to Netrunner. All right, do we want to? Uh... I would run R and D first because if it's crazy and good, you probably don't want to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> we can doof HQ, is what I'm saying. Oh, so that's a ginger. Yeah, so we're gonna diversion him. Seems right. They'll res it, so we'll get four instead of five, but what have you? Yeah. And then what do we want to do with our last click? Um, I, I would probably... Um, 
I think I think he wanted draw, but I'm not sure. Um, you could potentially just win the game by running here, but he's got zero credits, and that makes me think that we want to draw because that means we have more time to fuck around with the shit. Hey, look, a bankroll. Yeah, exactly. You could draw bankroll or Amaku or any number of things that makes it good to draw before you run. All right, so do we want to just check some, put down the bankroll, check some servers? Yeah, I put down the, definitely put the bankroll and run HQ here. Run HQ probably twice and then run R&D, run HQ three times, run R&D. MCA austerity policy. Do we try? Um, that's a good, yeah, 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 I would get rid of that. That card's really good against us because it okay. stops apocalypse. But also, if he just like plays well, it, yeah, so definitely steal, definitely steal that. Yeah, five points. Mm -hmm. Hey, net jogging. Yeah, it's Dan squared. All right, All right so we're in HQ. Well, good game. GG. GG. Well played. And that is how you win with single axes, Netrunner. Netrunner, so good. <laughs> he should have um, read the Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to go for HQ that turn. It's like, it's like, okay, it looks like it is a crazy grade. Okay, well, at this point, the Apocalypse is off if that is a crazy grid, so we might as well just go for it. Right, and see if we can... Right, because if, 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 if he puts a cash as possible, but if he puts a third ice on HQ and any of the ice does anything, we're in like deep shit. If that's crazy good, we don't crash it. We're gonna be pretty much playing the inside job game the rest, the rest of the time. Like this deck, it like has to, it has to get a mock up off against somebody that's turtling like that, or they have to just like draw all these agendas and you like sneak door in something yeah. like that. So we did. I think we. So so that's. I mean, you were saying that you were having trouble uh, timing Apocalypse. That was the time to Apocalypse. <laughs> Thank you for the subnet jogging. I really appreciate it. I have no idea if people play Chris Younggrid in Netrunner. <laughs> well, it is a card in Netrunner. It is a card. Oh my god, this is... Are we Are we legitimately playing against... Um, is this Apocalypse? Is this Apocalypse deck? Or, um, is this, uh, there has this been the variants of the Mushin deck. This is all motion deck, right? Um, I, I, I would. This hand is normally pretty good. Ooh, just in general, false my credentials is kind of good against that deck, isn't it? Because we get to expose their motions. Let's keep this hand just so we can expose the motion. I'm not sure if it's right. Or and then not. it's a psychic field. Well, that's not the end of the world. We can just draw cards after that. I, I had somebody um, who really did not like 419 play a blue sun that had. Psychic field so that they could pick them up and put them back down. And I'm just like, okay, you won. You beat 419 with your cunning deck. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. Wait, does that like always work? Can you yeah, because he just keeps installing it and he's like, do you want to use 419 this time? Could be anything. <laughs> and then it's the psychic field again. I mean, like, I guess it would probably work once and then you just stop exposing acid or everything. Right, else. that's right, the point. Get. The point is is yeah, it's yeah. one card that makes it so that you never expose ever Come again. Come on, stop making this guy. Wait, let's go. All right. Uh, probably, the question is whether we want to run Bankroll this turn, I guess. So um, you either play Sure Gamble, play Bankroll on R&D, or... But I guess he could have Snare in his deck, so that's something maybe dangerous. You All right, could... So, so right. I would... You definitely play Sure Gamble first. And then you probably just draw cards here. Maybe that's a pretty good one. Draw once more. Yeah, let's do that. And then put down bankroll. Um. Or do we want to put down M strike? No, I'd wait on that. Play bankroll. Bankroll's such a good card. Hey, Red it's Suki, pretty... it's going good. Bankroll is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess if he's playing the motion deck, we want to strike before we run a motion. Show me a psychic field. Ah. That is not a psychic field. But we can just falsify it. So do we want to do that? Yeah, I would definitely falsify it. I would name I would name asset. Yeah, we're not going. We're not That's ever touching that card. All right, good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um so we can we can afford to hit a snare here. So maybe we should check R&D. Okay, we can do that. Clones are not people. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, that's that's missions for sure. All right, so let's draw a card. Yay! Yeah, that's a good card. Let's play that. Yeah, that's a really good card. 
Uh huh. So now we know he has clones or not, people. We should keep checking R and D because we want to be able. To we want to see the agendas before he does. <laughs> Well, I mean, I would say we want to see the traps. Our our, our goal isn't necessarily to win by... Because we can always just, like, apocalypse the shit out of him and make sure he doesn't win. I sure. Mean, yeah, so we just want to make sure we get rid of these traps. Um, so, just give him less things to mention. So let's run R&D. Okay. Preemptive, sure. Let's write straw. Hey. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, maybe we should have drawn first. Um, I can we can play that and run archives. I don't think that's that bad. I can't remember. Does this deck play breach domes? I don't know or care. Okay. Well, if this is a breach dome, no big deal. Okay. I have well, seen I mean, some biotech variants where they run like, one or two domes just to pitch into the archives. So they're. The, they may have two clones. Well, they may still have another copy of clones and on people because they discarded. There's, there's probably just one. There's probably just one, but there could be two. All right. All right, let's run R&D. Do you want to draw first? No, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe we should have, actually. Yay! Yeah, trash that. Keep running R&D. Arc Lockdown. It does absolutely nothing. Oh, I guess it does. It, does. it kills, kills crowdfunding. Yeah. Um, he discarded another card from his hand. I think we just want to draw here, but I'm not sure. Okay, we have one click left. Oh, uh, we can play the Lister. That's pretty good. Lister is a fine card. It's not bad. I mean, it's not great here, but it does something. <sighs> this will if he this will prevent like him from icing out twice. Sure. So preemptive. So probably the clones are not people's going back in. And the trap. Nope. Oh, no. right, maybe maybe he does have to. Maybe maybe we missed the agenda that time. All right, so we have um, a laundry. Yeah, that's laundry R and D. We're definitely gonna run three times this turn and get the crap running back. I think. Crash it, run again. Yeah, getting this game. Rid this game is really over, by the way. I don't see it anywhere we lose. Oof. We're just getting rid of all these traps. All right, so that's a mirage. You. All right, so we successfully run three times. So let's just draw a card. Isn't that nice? It's automated now. Yeah, that's pretty 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 convenient. All right, so we have like way more money than we actually need, which is fun. We just need to draw into the apocalypse. Well, we don't even need to apocalypse. We, we don't need to do, we don't need to do anything at all. It's, this game is going to be so easy. <laughs> like like look at all these like our cards are so good against it. All right. That's going to be the mirage, I would say. Probably. It's really impotent piece of ice. Keep running. I would keep def would definitely keep running already. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's a mind game actually. What does that actually do? Uh, it's a side game, and then we're running another server. Yeah, that's fine. Play the side game. <coughs> uh, what do we pay here? Wait, 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 wait. Does this does this make us hit the overrider? That's annoying. Uh, no, we can um, add an installed card to the bottom of our stack to jack out. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, then let's... Uh, I would probably... I don't care what you bet. Okay, so we can add an installed card to the bottom of our stack. To jack I would add that d list to the bottom of our stack. I didn't realize that we couldn't jack out like that. Okay, otherwise I would have probably just broke it, but... Um, we, let's can't, run our we can't break it. It's four strength. Yeah, I know. I, we could have broken with Dean Lister. Oh, yeah. Um, we can run archives. We'll run R&D again. I'm going to actually just break it. Mm, I guess play Dean Lister. We have a lot of money on this bankroll. Mm -hmm. Now that we have five counters, I'd probably run HQ. Yeah, they haven't tried to score anything. Now this, well, deck, do this deck does run Ovocados. Well, we can run HQ and get information about what they what 
what, what, what they got what, going on. Yeah. Oh, they have avocados in this deck. I, I believe the the deck runs avocados, right? Not gold. Okay. Not, not foods. Yeah, probably. Um, I think you're right. Do we want to do HQ? <sighs> um, we could we could HQ or we could just embezzle HQ. Just get some info. Yeah, I mean, we could we could. I mean, we're gonna get it. The question is like, what are you naming here? Well, I think uh, op- really the only thing they have that we want to get rid of is the operations, probably, because we can get rid of the assets, right? Yeah, you could also name Agenda. I don't know. No, I, think I don't think you can. Oh, you can name Agenda. You're right. That's the name operation. I, forgot. I always forget you can't name Operation or uh, Agenda. All right, so we're down to two cards. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to say Ops. So, Obakata and the Future Perfect. But we now right. know that there's two agendas in there. Yeah, that, that's fine. I would just draw cards here. Draw three cards. If we can get a, a Snick door, we'll be in pretty good shape. We just lost our Snick door. I know, but we've got another one somewhere in here. I don't know what they're going to do, to be completely honest. Ooh, look. That's a fun card. That's a very um, fun card. I'd probably run HQ here. There's, do we have just regular run HQ? I don't think the diversion offensive would do much. No. Everything that they have to use is cheap, right? Yeah. Big just because if we hit, if we hit, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, or do we leave uh, it? I think we leave it because I think we're going to actually have Ocalypse here. Okay. Let's, run, 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 let's run Randy. Because, like, the fact that the Kakugo is on HQ is, like, making it actually pretty difficult. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. They have to decide whether or not they want to spend the money. Continue your break. This, yeah, so, this bankroll is so good. Ah, that's annoying. Yeah, trash that. Um, yeah, we just got to draw two cards there. Oh, do right? we remove tag? I, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. All right, we can just yeah. draw, draw. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we could just lose. We could actually just lose the like attrition here. Well, we know that HQ is a like a loaded baked potato because there's at least two agendas in there. Yeah. Um, is and, that a divert? And there's a, a number of traps in the bin. We have a diversion of funds, right? We do. I think that's pretty good here. I think I would probably play diversion of funds right now. Okay. That's not. There, they'd still be able to fire whatever that is. What do you mean fire? It? Yeah, yeah, I know that. But that's that's fine. We'll. we'll... He's still poor now, and then I would probably draw. Because if that is an agenda, they'll have no money. I think we don't want to play Earthrise Hotels this game. We just want the hit points. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, all right, we did lose the crowdfunding, which is good. Um, I think we probably want to check R and D here. Okay. I probably check our. I would probably check our ND three times. Well, there's an Obacata right. on top. All right. Um, so if we draw a card, run. So we can't actually do that because <laughs> we'll biotech us. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just. Um, I'd probably run our ND two more times. Get the crowd uh, fundings back. Get both crowd. Yeah, I get both crowd fundings back, and then just draw a card, or or remove the tag. It's fine too. Successful run, no action. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to um, to get the seventh point other than stealing like a million of these agendas. Um, yeah. Feels good. Yeah, feels, feels pretty good. We've got like infinity money now, which is cool. Unfortunately, there's probably nothing we can ever do with it. <laughs> 
So we now know that there are three uh, up to three agendas in HQ. Yeah, that's probably there's probably a breach over in a future perfect in archives or something like that, or there's probably an agenda in archives. I would guess, but um, that's, we probably that's wanna, clearly not an agenda. The we whatever's don't know that. in server one. We we really don't know that. That could definitely be an agenda, but um, if we draw a false, but yeah, I mean, let's draw, let's draw for sure. Eater, eater's not bad. Sure, gamble, that's pretty bad. Um, we really want to get that expose effect, I think. Um, but we don't want to overdraw. Hmm. We can just check. We can just check R and D for sure, right? Yeah, let's All right, check. R&D. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. I wonder if they're ever going to res whatever this is. It's a Mirage. Right, and they don't want us to see a fresh card. <laughs> well, he just doesn't want to pay money for it. There's a motion. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess now the question is whether we like draw another card or not. Um, because our cards aren't good. But but like doing nothing is also like... I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't see running. We, we really, we really can't do anything usefully, right? So, um, unless you see something that I don't, but I don't see anything usefully. Yeah, I mean, running archives to get information is dangerous. <laughs> running HQ costs us a hit point, and if we hit an Obakata, we can't steal it anyway. And I'm guessing that the two agendas that are probably in hand are Obakatas. So there's not much we can do besides draw or get a credit. Yeah, we get a credit then. So what is what is the agenda suite in this deck then? Like I one, believe it's three avocados, three future permits, one philotic or something. I I think it's yeah I think it's uh, or 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 the 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 other one resequencing or whatever it's called. Yeah. Right. I think there's an SSL in there. Just my okay. Or an, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Uh, so he drew the motion, but he didn't motion anything. I think he's worried that we're holding back falsifieds, right? Because there's, on, there's only one in the bin. Yeah. Um, Do we think that's another Kakugo? I'm really hoping we can draw into the sneak door, and that's not a Kakugo on archives. I would just run R&D again. And then take three credits or something. Because these crowdfundings are going to fire off, and then we're going to have a lot of cards in our hand that will allow us to you know, maybe steal an avocado. Right, be a little bit more risky. Yeah. So there's an archive, and then just hit some cash. Oh yeah, let's just can't do credits. Let's pass, functional pass, because I don't want to lose any hit points. We're gonna need those hit points. Yeah. See, I think I'm really enjoying this game in particular. I mean, even though the biotech is a weird matchup in general, because in this situation, like you're playing it much better than I would, because I end up like running myself out of cards trying to close the game too quickly. Yeah, you, we have you, we're in no rush right now. All right, so we got M Strike and Diversion of Funds on the crowd fundings. I don't think Diversion of Fund really does anything. Sure, Strike might be worth playing here. Um, I suspect that Server One is an agenda actually, but I'm not really sure. Um, but we can play Strike and run HQ. Okay, seems rational. <laughs> yeah, because then so. if we hit an Obakata, we can just draw for the remainder. <laughs> Yeah, we can run HQ twice, and then we can run R&D and get our crap money back, and we don't have to worry about dying. Whew. Future perfect. He bet one last time, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm so bad at these sites. I'm so bad at sites. I'm going to say uh, two. That seems crazy, but okay. Damn it. Damn it. Um, Let's run HQ again. Um, we can run R&D and get our crowdfunding today. Gosh, crowdfunding is a really good card. Show me potato salad. Show me a snare. No, a cerebral overrider, which we will happily trash. <laughs> so we know that there's a future perfect in there. At least there is now, right now. Yeah. Can we just deck him? <laughs> and it'll, got... it'll take a while. 
So a purge came through. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so we have Lister. We do. We also have Eater. I would probably, I probably, um, I probably draw two cards, play Eater, and then run. Um, just to start. Well, we can't. Fu- if we use Eater, we can't power up Amakua. Wait. Yeah. Why not? Because we don't access cards. No, we access zero cards. Oh. Oh. Okay. So do we want to go R and D? Um, we have E strike out right now, right? Yeah. Oh. You're thinking we should check it's... archives? Yeah, but if he res, if he just doesn't res it, then then we're in trouble, right? Because well, we could we could try. Yeah, let's run archives. If he just no res, we'll just check out. I bet it's Kakuga though. It's a Nancy. All right, well, we're breaking that. Continue. And we're going nice. to get the reveal, but we... Uh... That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, I bet there's Obakadas in there. There's an yeah. Obakada and one Breach Dome. So the other okay. Obakada and the other and the Future Perfect that we saw are still in HQ. Wasn't that a fun trick? Aren't you having fun? I'm having okay. a great time right now. Pass the turn. <laughs> we also have 23 credits on bankroll. We do. We're, I mean, we're right, worried so, about wait, getting decked, but our opponent is the, like in let's hell. Count, let's count the traps. Because we know that he shuffled in one so over. So all three cerebral overriders are in, are in the bin. Are in the bin. And two of the June bugs, actually. Two of the June, two out of three June bugs. Oh, Just, oh, we're running, we're running this, we're running the server one for sure. Okay. So, start trying to run server one. Not all right. Close. If it's a June bug, no big deal. But that's the last trap. Yeah, let's kill that. Yeah, no jokes. I think he definitely should have scored that this turn. All right, let's draw three cards. Call it a day. Cool. Cool. Be- because we kn- right, because we now had like perfect knowledge. Well, we, it could have been a June bug. But it could have been a June bug, but that if was, it was statistically June, if it, unlikely. Not just that, but if it was a June bug, then then we then then we have absolute perfect knowledge. Right. Now we have apocalypse again. That's gonna be hard to apocalypse him. I'm just um, I'm just letting you know what we got. Yeah, we've got apocalypse. It's true. Um, I mean, we could we could think about apocalypsing. Um, the deck does run very ice light. All right, so let's think. I'm thinking we might want to run R and D and let him fire um, the side game thing because then we could potentially just we could actually just apocalypse him. Like you know, he redirects. He doesn't have a remote server to redirect us to, right? So if he redirects us to archives or or HQ, we can just we can just use that as the apocalypse. Okay. I actually think that's kind of fun. It might be good. All right. So where do you want to go first? Uh, R and D and just let him fire it. Right, I would cause probably because wherever he throws us. I would, I would definitely bid zero here. He also bid zero. Okay, so so we win, right? We continue now? We continue, yeah. IPO, okay. Uh, now we run HQ. Double Kakugo. That's annoying. All right, so I would definitely break him, break him with eaters, take damage. Or not with eaters with um with the Magua. We'll see if the apocalypse survives. Yeah, we'll see if we lose the apocalypse or not. We know he's future perfect hand, so at least we're getting one in five on the Nope, perfect. it's gone. Nope. Alright. That's that's a shame. Well we'll definitely successful run. Definitely trash that. We don't want to see that in HQ anymore. Uh but probably so we we made two successful runs now? Correct. Oh, that's annoying. Do we wanna go? Uh, R and D again, and just uh, see what break happens. It. Yeah, probably R and D break it with either. Yeah. Then we can get all our crowd fundings back. That's correct. That's the plan. Draw card. Draw card. 
Tastes good. <laughs> Pretty good. So that's bad for us. That double cock ago. Yeah. Um, hmm. well, we got sneak door. We have one more sneak door somewhere in this deck. That's right. It's in it's in our hand, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> um. But we I'll, don't have enough counters on Amakua. We do not, and he'll purge like as soon as we do it. So <laughs> let's um let's run R and D. We're gonna use Eater here. Yeah. Just to get up to that fourth counter. That's right. What an interesting game we're having. What did, oh, we didn't access any cards. Let's run our ND. Uh, no, we actually... Well, we could pop ankle now and run our ND. That seems fine. We got a pop ankle. Yeah. All right, well, that's a good, that's a good 27 credit bankroll. Net. Preemptive. Oh, that, that's so super annoying. Now we got to think about actually. Well, we can't run our guys, so let's uh, let's just draw a card and be under credit. But next turn, we're ready to drop the snack door. That's true. Let's see if he just plays preempted. No, he doesn't. doesn't. All right, drop it. Mhm. Mm break, break, break. There's one snare in the trash, so there's a few that are not accounted for. Yeah, right. we'll just run, run this a bunch more times, yeah. We know that there's two agendas, at least, in there. They're there. Alright, we're taking this while yeah, the amp then, strikes down. Yeah, and then just draw a card in case he's playing some dumb neural card or something. Alright, now he has to play preemptive action this turn, which is good. Because that means we get more future perfect hits. Why does, he he why does he have to play preemptive this turn? Oh, because we could just draw. And... Yeah, we could just win the Ovocado in the archives. If they don't play an archive, then we're, unless they play a Neural, and then we lose. If he has a Neural, we're dead. What, you mean double Neural? Well, he has archive memories. So just one would kill us. Yeah, this is a nice... This is a nice... Um, this is a nice fork we've set up, because they can't do both things that they need to do to make the board state not bad. Right, they need to purge and they need to play play preemptive. Yeah, so he's gonna play preemptive here. Yeah, which means we get more HQ accesses, and we're pretty sure that there's a future perfect in there. Yeah. Wait, wait, pre cerebral so he didn't shuffle in the avocado, did he? No, it doesn't look like he did. But okay, so we so but, we win. Well, he may have. Oh no, he added cerebral with. Yep. Yeah, so we're just gonna draw up and go get it. Uh. Just double check that it's in there. <laughs> I just don't. I'm in Yeah, it's in there. Okay, yeah, we win. Let's go. Win. <laughs> I just draw three cards and win. Draw cards first, just in case. Uh, I forget how Netrunner works. <laughs> and then we just go on in. We can go access the Obacata first and win the game. Uh, that seems pretty good. Yeah. GG. Good game. Wow. Solid technical play. Don't you think so? I think we played solidly and technically. This is this is what happens when you invite me on. You don't run out of cards. You have backups every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's this good. Is, I, I, this is why I wanted to have you on though, because you have a lot is, of insight just gotta, into this deck. You just got to think two two turn two turns further ahead than you normally would, and you'll win. Okay, I mean that's sol very solid advice. All right, let's see if we can squeeze in one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these were good games. That second game, he he was uh, they, or they were um, well, they played it. They played it pretty well considering um, that we have was, all the good. We have, we have all the good cards for. Yeah, I mean, their deck was largely rendered dysfunctional by ours. <laughs> like you know, like all of our cards were really good against theirs, and they still managed to play a game where they almost ran well, they, they out of cards. Yeah, they almost ran us out of cards. So. We were and we were we were extremely conservative with not running at this. You know, like if we were a little more reckless, it could have been bad for us. Sure. All right, so we're up against Red Tree, and this is a terrible hand. Okay, so we'll throw that back into the abyss. Yeah, Red Tree is um, 
is isn't well, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say for me which matchups are good and which ones are bad with this deck because um lots of people just play real bad and then So we got all like the almost the exact same hand. At least this one has more money in it. This hand is way better than the other hand. This hand's actually great. Um you really you really need an E strike to run against MZ though. Close it. Pay. Pay. You should pay. Ooh. I didn't pay. That's got to be like an NGO, right? He only has four credits. I would still check it. I would go sure gamble check it. All right, you're the boss. If you if you make him res ice on his dang remote server right now, yeah, right, that's fine. Sometimes people do do tricky things here. Um, I'd probably draw play crown on me. Yeah, I, I, I've i had enough people in turn one Nisei me that I want to check that. Because Nisei is just, like, it just stops Apocalypse. So we really can't let him score that. Yeah. If it isn't, if that's a if that's a filthy trick, it, it could potentially just run the game on the spot. Is this Diversion of Funds or, or the other one? This is Diversion of Funds. Diversion of okay. Funds has uh, the orange on it. Okay. I'm going to make you like a laminated desk reference of criminal art. <laughs> Color coded. All right. I, so, I, I kind of want to play Diversion of Funds on Click One here. Just, Am I crazy? Did, I mean, we know, it's an, we know it's an IP block, so yeah, we have a, we have we a, have link. a link. You want to just go ham? I think, I think so. Yeah, let's go. Go John Ham. It'd be nice if we had an uh, employee strike, but he'll, he'll probably stop us. But Oh, it's worth noting that if they put down a Cortex lock, we die. Uh, that's true. I don't I don't think they usually play that, so I kind of assume they don't. But that would be rad. I, I would give it to him. All right, so we pay the two. Mm -hmm. Se seems right. Yeah. They're probably going to try to put down something. Just to yeah. offload the amount of money that we're going to get. Yeah, I would uh, definitely expose it if he pays one. I would still continue. There's like not, it's, it's, if it's, if it's Cortex Lock, yeah, continue. Come on, it's Cortex, Cortex Lock. Let's see if he's got Cortex Lock. Yeah, right, good GG. game. <laughs> GG. <laughs> <laughs> really? Everybody cut that for that one. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. Who plays that card anymore? It's oh, that, not good. This guy, uh, clearly. Clearly. It's it's not good in this deck. Oh, man. All right. Well, we could have drawn. Yeah, I mean, we could have just drawn first. Um, Rematch? Yeah. I'm just going to ask our opponent if they want to do a rematch. That's fine. I like the sun came out. The fuck time is it? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could have drawn a card. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, eh, right. uh, Net jogging is asking, uh, who does turn one MK two? And you say MK two, and he says, "Who won that game?" In all caps to you. I don't know. All right, are we keeping this? I don't know. I so so the thing about this hand is, dirty laundry is terrible against them. Yes. And then the other thing about this hand is that uh, WWE is terrible. I think it's mulligan because you just really want to strike. Hey, look, we got one. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. And having that in the diversion of funds in the opening hand is dramat pretty dramatic. All right, so they played Cerebral Static against us. That doesn't. That's really, really bad, but okay. So what um, are we doing? We're drawing cards. Draw. Draw. Gimbal. And then either bankroll or demon lister, probably demon lister or bank yeah, probably bankroll, I guess. We're gonna save the E strike for when we're ready to run. Mm-hmm. What do we think that ice is? IP block? I don't know. Maybe a cortex okay. lock? Uh I don't probably if it was cortex we probably saved it. I'm probably not playing the cortex lock. All right.
<laughs> Alright, let's uh, keep doing that draw card thing. Um, I don't know. This is this is kind of tricky. We probably want to play Dean Lister. We could take a credit. Um, I think Dean Lister taking credit's fine. Cerebral Static, twenty eighteen. We're probably going to want to strike next turn, but I'm not sure. Well, depending on what happens here. Oh, that's a baddie. Okay. Got to love all those pre-reses, right? All right, let's think. Did he mulligan or not? Uh, I believe he did not. Well, look. Because we can look. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he kept. He See, kept. I was right. All right. You're right. Um, so what 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 would make him keep here? He probably has he probably has ice, right? Probably he had the cerebral static in his opening hand and ice. Well, that's. I mean, I would probably play E Strike and then and then embezzle ice. Yeah. Even with them having six credits. Yeah. What, what's the worst thing that can happen? We could get hit with a cortex lock and die. We will not die. We have a bank roll out. Huh? We won't die. We have a bank roll out. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So let's do let's let's do that and then let's let's get rid of all this ice that's probably sitting in his hand. News how that's annoying. It's super annoying actually. It won't we'll beat the trace of this. All right. Um, what? Uh, or do we want to clear out this spatty? Ooh, no, we can't kiss again. Cortex luck. <laughs> yeah, I would probably run R and D. It's kind of a free run R and D. <clears throat> Damn, that news hound's pretty annoying. All right, let's draw a card. Oops. Such an annoying time to draw that. All right, let's see if he's got another current. I think he has to, right? Because otherwise, why would he play the first one? But at least it's expensive for him to play. Wow, he doesn't have it. All right, so what are we doing? Uh... Well, we're probably gonna we're probably gonna play crowdfunding and draw and run R and D. So let's draw first. Um, play crowdfunding, run R and D. Well, then we have one more. So let's draw again. Yeah, let's play crowdfunding, run R and D. I'm liking the look of that sneak door, especially while we still have um, <laughs> strike down. I'd like to, us to have Amakua. We don't. But we don't. <sighs> we do not. It would be really good. That's why we're drawing guards. I think also something that um, I'm not used to because I play a lot of smoke is I'm not used <coughs> to actually click drawing for cards. Okay, so I think this is a real agenda. So I would probably inset or I would spearfit or it's an instant stretch up. Inside, or should we click for credits first? Uh, probably not. Let's just inside job that aren't the server. I'm almost done. You know, res. I feel like I'd be surprised if you're sitting in an NGO this entire time. It's probably a knee save, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Trash that. Uh, probably want to run our ND here. I'll just uh, keep an eye on the top of his deck. Because it'd be nice to know if we're about to get currented. Yeah, let's trash that. Go back in? Yeah, for sure. Oh, come on. All right. I have to leave the game. Again. Yeah, I know, I know how I do. I know how I do. Hmm. 
Okay, so um, preemptive. That probably take credit here. Is he just is he just sitting on a million agendas? He could be. Because he would well it's exploded by that, yeah. Yeah, you should pay. He will pay. And then IPO. Um um, man, big big mistake by him playing that current or where we played our current. Um, let's draw and gain credits. Hang on, game's lagging. Uh. Looks like you're. Is this JNet? Your internet, your internet seems fast, but that reload of JNet was also fast. I don't know. I don't know how computers yeah, work. The, oh, it's so frustrating. Um, all right. So you wanted me to. I think we want to draw and gain credits here. Well, what just happened? JNet is doing JNet things. Is this the? Is this like the the, the morning server reset? Like, you know, everybody's never it's fucking seven in the morning. Well, you've joined this game uh, on three different. Yeah, I, I, mean, I know. It's this is what happens sometimes when I get kicked out in the morning. Um, are you sure that this game isn't just broken? Huh? Is this game not broken? It looks pretty broken. There we go. All right, let's do it. Uh, it did draw us our card. All right, so we got a diversion of funds. Um, that's not very good. I'd probably draw another card and take two credits. Ooh, let's just play Ar let's play Wanjiru before that card gets completely unplayable. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again? Wanjiru archives before we can't play Dirty Wanjiru anymore. Are there agendas in there? There is a breach dome. That's fine. Now we can draw now we can justify drawing another card. <laughs> Okay. Hey, we have an inside job. Yeah, it's like spear fishing, but, but worse. Uh, no, Russell, when this happens, uh, you hit F5 once inside the game to refresh, and then you go back out to the menu and hit F5, and then rejoin, and usually it works. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, I would probably start sneak doing here. All right, we let's, got another... let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Because I suspect he has agendas. Fast track. Maybe he doesn't have agendas because he did with this card fast track. Ooh, let's play. steal that. Steal that. Steal that. <laughs> get, let's steal that. And then get a card. I think so, yeah. So we're at five. We're at five. The trick Gosh, to beating him. 419 empty. is so good. How is he so good? He's, he's okay. All right. He has a lot of money. He does. That's okay. We'll just draw a turtle on Apocalypse. So. All right. So what are we doing? Just drawing? Yeah. We are We are out of East. Oh, no. There's East. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we're just drawing. Um, Get a buck. Yeah, seems fine. This bankroll's sitting pretty also. It's not bad. One card's pretty good. All right, now the goal is to get off an apocalypse before he can score an ESA. <laughs> advance, advance. All right, well. Well, the one underneath the advance card is an upgrade. Yeah, let's start by exposing the upgrade. It's going to be baddie, right? It is baddie. Um, we don't really have anything about getting in there, do we? Let's draw a card. Draw a card. Mm, that's an annoying I'm a cool time. Mm, I think we just play Earthrise until I'm not sure. 
He's, he's going to score his, his knee side or whatever, and then we'll just play around kind of the next turn. We also have a follow-up E-Strike. We do. Alright, so cool. let's just do that. <laughs> yep, and there's the Nisei. Yep. I don't think <laughs> it is. I think it was a one advancement uh, Obakata. Nope, it's not. Oh, you think it's Obakata? Nope, no. never mind. They just yeah, advanced. They just slow rolled it. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's fine. Um... We have 12 credits, huh? Correct. I think, um, I think we want to pay Turtle. Pop oh, our... somebody pointed out that Newshound, there's no current active, so Newshound doesn't have an end to run on it. Oh, that's actually really good, isn't it? Yeah. But they can still piggyback something. Yeah, but we we can e strike it. But then Newshound has sent in the run on it. Oh right, that's true. All right, well then this all seems pretty mediocre. We could play, we could pop bankroll, play turtle. Okay. Uh, pop bankroll, play turtle, play e strike, play diversion. Okay. Sure. No wait, that's 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 not that good. Because then. Well, we can use the lister on the Amakua. Yeah, we could just we could just we could just pop bankroll, pay play another bankroll, play Amakura, and then Lister and H E. But I, I don't want to waste the Lister. Um, it's still okay. I would still do it. Do you want a diverse a diversion or just go in? Yeah, let's let's. Well, if we diversion, we're we're committing to popping the Lister, but I think that's okay. I think he's got low enough money that we we're okay with that. Uh, oh, I forgot to play. Uh, oh, you should wait. wait does Lister only work during the? Yeah, it does. Right, oh, well, they're gonna just do... let us have it, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. This is. I thought we would have had five cards. We, we should have. We shouldn't have played the well. That was that was that was, that was wrong. Because his his ice peaks at five strength, and if he played like another one, and it like could have been something that destroyed us, we probably would just have to jack out. I think um, now is where we try and like start farming turtle counters more or less. Okay, so, so there is a breach dome in archives. That's fine. I actually am perfectly happy uh, with that trade off. So we play an M strike and check in somewhere. <sighs> no, it's not that good either. All these options are not very good. We can check the remote. Um, we can just run the remote. Like, what's the worst thing that happens here? He spends all of his money on his remote server. Yeah, I think I would just check the remote. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, we want to we want to make him spend money now if we can. It's a good time for that. We have Earthrise, so it's not like get back that. Um, Cortex Lock doesn't do anything right now. And I think you're right that this inside is, is Cortex Lock. They're thinking real hard. They are thinking. Yeah, because if an if an Anansi comes out here, that's all their money, and we can just like savage R and D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's not an Anansi in his hand. We would have played that last turn, I think, but or maybe not. That's that's the thing about this this deck is. Uh... We're going to say yes. pay. Yes, continue. I'm perfectly happy seeing him spend all the money on anything. Oh, we don't even have to break that. There's no current yeah. down. Yeah, sure. Let him. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll just break it the normal way, the trace way. Yeah. 
They spend two to make us spend two. And they spent the money to not have it be exposed. I just pay zero here. Okay, so then the trace will fire again. Yeah, we'll beat it. Trash it. Um, we could... We could check R&D now. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Because we could potentially farm up to three counters if they can't afford to res what's here. Yes. And if it's a Kagugo or whatever and we can't break it, now they're broke. <laughs> Excalibur. Okay, I guess we'll get one on Makua counter. Yep. Good game. Easy. We're so good at Netrunner. No counters necessary. Single accesses. Thanks for having me on the stream, Dan. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. Thank you so much, everybody watching at home, and we will yeah. catch you next time. Play this deck. It's a lot of fun. Everybody, until I see you again, always be running. Later, Dan.